Welcome back, YouTube, to my second part of Golden Sun LP. Back where we stopped last time. And Garrett, going, saying that he's a man. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, these two will be explained later, because I do not want to explain them at the moment, and they, then the game will actually explain them later. So yeah, that saves me the trouble of it. But, on to the... LP, I suppose. There's me. Them spying on me. Me saying I'm eavesdropping, even though that is totally irrelevant, because... Because I was kind of spying on them a little bit, but not much. You know that they caused the issue, but oh well. Their names will be mentioned later, and... I do not want to mention them right now because the game will do that for me. Isaac gets one hit off. He's dead. Fatality to Garrett. And I like soaring my words for some reason. Sorry, it, it's been a late night and... Yeah, I'm pretty tired when I'm recording this. But I still want this done tonight, so I shall do it. Oh hey, the intro, because we lost. Really? No, ha, I'm just pulling your leg. It's That was actually the intro, what we were doing there. That was a long intro, and this is going to be a long cutscene. I'm serious. It'll span pretty much the... In it will span pretty much the entire video now. Because, A, I cannot use frame skip. If I do, the sound gets really screwed up. And, B, it's just really long. This is just there to consume game time for some reason. It's almost as annoying as the talk scenes from Dark Dawn. They are really long and really annoying because you cannot skip them. Oh hey The Rock. Game moved by the move synergy. I will most likely be using every type of synergy there is at some point. Hopefully. Not not entirely sure about that, because I might not use many heals. So yeah, there's an interesting cutscene that actually goes with that rock. Well, actually it's not a cutscene, it's just a talking little chat thing, but I'm not sure if I will show it in this playthrough at all, this out Let's Play, but it might be a separate little collection of videos, like Pirate's Isle, that I probably won't do in game but I will do just to get the important things in there so yeah that will be in a separate video probably because that's a really long place and I do not want to consume 10 videos doing that one thing so yeah still going on this cutscene pretty nice huh getting comfy huh just watching it Still watching it. Yep. Still doing it. Oh hey. Scene switch. Isaac fixing the rough now. Even though he, sh he was doing it before, he should have had it done by now. And walking on a thin straw roof. Yeah, that that's real real life mechanics right there. Oh hey, this even defies real life physics even more. Her stepping on the recently repaired holes. Yep, yep. Interesting. Thank you, real life mechanics. Just for a forewarning, that will be a very common theme that happens in this game. And the other games, too. Though I probably won't be doing Dark Dawn, like I said before, I believe. Well... Yeah, I won't really bring it up much because it's just common sense that that wouldn't apply in real life. Because she's just standing on the hole right there. And she would have fallen through right now. Okay, Jenna, yes. 
She is a very unimportant character in this game. Not so much in Golden Sun 2, but Golden Sun 1, she is very unimportant. Because she can only be used once in this entire game. Until the first puzzle, which is my favorite puzzle in the entire series! Woohoo! Which will also span, like, two videos. Hooray. Yeah. Anyways, you will notice the major sound skips. That was not my fault. That was the emulator's fault when I was recording. It was not going at 100%, so it did massive sound skips. And since I did not want to record this really long cutscene again, I decided that I'm not going to bother recording it again, you know. So leave it alone. Oh hey, look at that. He fell up right away. <laughs> you see? <laughs> that wouldn't happen in real life. She is obviously a lot taller than him, so she would have weighed more and she would have fell in, even just walking on it. Oh hey, I hope I don't have to fix those holes again. No, I won't. I I can't remember, but not sure if those holes are still there if I still there when I get back but maybe they are maybe they're not I cannot remember for the life of me I am sorry so yeah game board yet still the same cutscene and still going well hopefully this cutscene will be finished soon which I know it will because it's Nearing the end of the mark, and technically I actually finished this cutscene before the mark. Hooray! You're almost done with this torturous huge cutscene that I will not blame you for skipping in the least. Because it is really long and really unnecessary. Oh hey, Jenna and Garrett joined. Only one of those is really important, even though he's totally called an idiot consistently. Hey puppies, woohoo. Still don't understand how little puppies can block that big hole. Yep, you guessed it, game mechanics. Oh hey, you see those two people there? I believe if you talk to one of them, they will hate on Garrett because he crushed the, her flower, his sister's flowers with the rock. Oh hey, these two again. Three years later, they still look the same. But now they get a name! Woohoo! You get to know the evil villains of the game. Because they're obviously villains, because look at them. They're evil, they have red eyes. Okay, here we go. Now, quick thing. I do not know what would happen if I said yes, but it might be the same, it might not be. I might have to fight them, I'm not sure, but I would lose. And losing is not a good thing, because then I would have to see that long cutscene again, because I have not saved yet. I will probably save at the end of this video, most likely. Not sure. Can't remember. Sorry. But, I cannot be a future prediction person when I recorded this yesterday. So yeah. Minority and Satyros. Both really evil people. Anyways, woohoo, the save. I was right. So, I shall see you all next video. I got 13. Goodbye.